Hello YouTube, The Spicer here for the Gunpla Network, and today we're talking about wild speculation and theories around what the Witch of Mercury may be. Now we have our own ideas, and there's a few things I'm going to pull from comments from our news video, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out. We do news usually bi-weekly, but if it's real busy weekly, just depending on how much news exists, right? And of course all our reviews and stuff, but I wanted to highlight a couple of comments from that news video. Now. The first one is uh, pronunciation uh, assistance in this instance, and that was from Robert Westfall. A lot of people had mentioned it, but he provided like the most overarching full word pronunciation because some of these Witch of Mercury Gundam names are a little weird. Um, and they had mentioned that the Beguir Bow, I didn't pronounce that last time. I pronounced it that way this time. I assume it's right. If it's not, I'm sure you guys will let me know. But regardless, that's what they had said, so thank you for that, Robert. Uh, Gerns Dark also said, I hope I said that right, uh, Ureka 7 vibe is real, very good. I love it when people mention Ureka 7. No one talks about Ureka 7 anymore, mostly because its successors are not as good as the original, but, you know, that's, I guess I'm that person. But Ureka 7 in and of itself, it's a little older, but it's really good if you haven't seen it. Check it out. And then lastly, last one, Soul had uh, brought up an interesting idea where it, this is going to get us into the theories side of things. And they had mentioned that the female protagonist we see, who we don't have a name for yet, looks kind of like Mika from IBO, and I guess I can kind of see that a little bit. Um, but they were thinking, oh, maybe she's a descendant of Mika, and this is the future of the post-Calamity era. That's an interesting concept, and that leads us into where does the Witch of Mercury fall? I don't know. No one knows. But I have an idea. I think it's entirely its own universe. I don't think it's attached to anything previously done for one reason. Well, two, kind of. First off, there's not a ton of visual reference. Sure, there's little hints here and nods there, but overall, nothing else visually has the same style or similar enough that it feels like it's from that world, right? And then, usually when Bandai announces something, if it's tied to anything else, they make sure to say, hey, this is the continuation of the UC or the post-Calamity era, yada, 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 yada. And while we don't have a ton of information, that's stuff that I would have imagined would have come out by now, because we have a high-grade line, and it's like high-grade blank, usually. We don't have anything, so it's just high-grade. Likely... That's kind of me reading into it a lot, but generally that's the concept I have, right? It's going to be its own thing. It's visually distinct enough that that's very possible and Bandai's not said anything. That's probably the case. Now, the name itself is interesting as well. What, is, what does this have to do with Mercury? Does it take place on a colony on Mercury? Did those colonists think Mars was too mainstream or they just don't like Elon Musk? So they're like, hey, let's go to Mercury for whatever stupid reason. Because that also seems like a terrible idea to place a colony. Kind of like Jupiter, but whatever. You know, to each their own. I don't care. It's a colony. Or, it's a cool nickname. I think that's possible too. Nicknames are cool. The Witch of Mercury sounds cool as hell. Yeah. 10-10, let's go. Or, maybe it's the name of an organization. Maybe it's kind of like Mithril from Full Metal Panic, where it's like a PMC. Or maybe it's like a rebellion rebellious faction against uh, government or whatever there are a bunch of cool names out there Tekadon was a good one this one's a good one too so what do you guys think is it a cool nickname is it the planet is an organization's name which would also be a cool name I don't know let me know now names and stuff aside we of course have to talk about the mechanical stuff that's kind of what we're here for right it's Gundams it's Gunpla let's go so from the teaser we see this like, weird computerized effect on the chest, on the, like, weird psycho framey looking parts, and I think there's some on the head, too. I think, personally, that's more of a, like, advanced AI thing than anything else, right? Sure, it could be, like, psycho frame, but if this is its own unique universe, it's got technology we don't even fathom yet, right? Sure, there may be some contemporaries, psycho frame, the thing from IBO, whatever. But generally, it looks more computerized, and it reminds me of the effect that the Tristan had from Code Geass R2, where it has, like, this weird computerized effect thing on its head for, like, a second. You only get, like, one or two scenes of it. 
but it looks like that. So I'm kind of thinking maybe Sunrise is like, oh, cool, we can just reuse this effect, and it works. And yeah, sure, it works. It looks good. I'm, you know, I'm not going to say anything wrong. It looks good. Computer. I don't know. Let me know. But uh, maybe it's Psycho Frame. Maybe it's not. Whatever. It doesn't matter. But on to the actual model kits. So the images we've had for the high-grade Ariel, almost a or Ariel, however you want to pronounce it, uh... Almost 100% confirm we're going to get some striker packs or some backpacks or something because there's a three millimeter peg hole in the back of the model kit. Bandai is going to put something there. Now, some people have speculated and it's a really cool looking idea and concept of these like images people have released that it looks like from the Gundam Lefirth or Lefirth, whatever. Uh, it looks like maybe some of the shield parts have gone into the gun, so they're speculating maybe the shield is the striker pack. That could be cool. It does kind of look like maybe some wings fold out, but we didn't see that in the initial images, so I kind of doubt that's probably going to be what's happening. And Bandai is going to want to make other variants of this, so we're probably going to get other packs. Maybe it'll change colors. I mean, we've seen this stuff with the Strike, the Impulse, all the Gundam Age stuff, the G-Self. We're going to get striker packs. Bandai needs to sell model kits. We need to buy model kits. It's a win-win. So, yeah, maybe that's the thing. But the Gundam Lefirth, as well, doesn't have a V-Fin. And, when, like, I know it's a predecessor, but that's weird for a Gundam to not have a V-Fin. I'm sure there's some out there that I can't think of off the top of my head. And I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments, because that's, that's what comments are for. But it is super, it's kind of weird. It almost reminds me of a like ground-type Gundam with the GM head. It's like, it's kind of a Gundam, technically. Apparently. But it doesn't have a V-Fin. I don't know, maybe they'll be like, hey, the V-Fin adds commander antenna support or something or different comms or whatever it doesn't matter they can come up with any kind of definition for it or reason why it's there and it's gonna look cool so yeah Tintin would definitely uh like an explanation there bandai but it doesn't matter so yeah those are kind of our general thoughts nothing too crazy but i do think that it's gonna be its own thing its own world mercury's maybe an organization because that's a sick name and the witch of mercury makes sense in that context probably not going to be on mercury or if it is it's going to be colonies around mercury so it's not like they're going to have to design mercury i mean i guess we technically know what it looks like but you know kind of the same thing with mars like you have to design a landscape so uh those are my thoughts let me know yours in the comments wild speculation doesn't matter go crazy i really want to talk to people about this because i think this kind of just it's a rare thing we haven't had the chance to really talk about in like six or seven years so yeah let's go comments down below anyway i've been the spicer here for the gunplay network please stay safe and keep on building